Traumatic Diaphragmatic Rupture, Thoracic Masterclass. Mechanism, diaphragmatic injury is a recognized consequence of high-velocity blunt and penetrating trauma to the abdomen and chest rather than from a trivial fall. It occurs in 0.8 to 8% of patients who sustain blunt trauma. Up to 90% of diaphragmatic rupture from blunt trauma occurs in young men after motor vehicle accident. Injury to the left hemidiaphragm occurs three times more frequently than injuries to the right side following blunt trauma possibly due to a buffering effect of the liver, both bilateral tears, and extension of tears into the central tendon are uncommon, they are reported in 2-6% of patients with diaphragmatic injury. Mechanisms of injury include a lateral impact, which distorts the chest wall, and shears the diaphragm, and a direct frontal impact, which leads to increased intra-abdominal pressure, further ruptures of diaphragm can occur in its central tendon, and at the coastal attachment spreading in a transverse direction, Peripheral detachment is the least frequent type of rupture observed at surgery. Penetrating injuries such as gunshot wounds or stab injuries are more random and produce small diaphragmatic holes usually 1 cm in diameter, which are often overlooked. Sites of diaphragmatic rupture, left-sided tear accounts for 50 to 80% of cases, while right-sided diaphragmatic tear is associated with liver injury in 50% of cases. Injuries occurring on the right side are associated with a higher rate of death, and more numerous, and serious accompanying injuries, bilateral diaphragmatic rupture, which occurs in 1-2% to of ruptures, is associated with a much higher death rate than injury that occur on just one side. Presentation, initial diagnosis can be difficult, especially when other severe injuries are present, that the condition is commonly diagnosed late. Just X-ray is known to be unreliable in diagnosing diaphragmatic rupture. Early presentation or acute onset in these patients there is, marked respiratory distress, decreased breath sounds on the affected side, palpation of abdominal content upon inception of a chest tube, auscultation of bowel sounds in the chest, paradoxical movement of the diaphragm with breathing, and, or diffuse abdominal pain. Delayed presentation or gradual onset These patients present with gradual onset of dyspnea and dry cough. Chest radiography, all the principal screening method for thoracic injury after blunt trauma. This study is often technically compromised by use of portable radiography units, supine projections, and limited patient cooperation. They can only pick up less than 50% of left-sided traumatic diaphragmatic rupture and less than 20% on the right side on the initial examination, and this emphasize the importance of serial X-ray follow-up in these patients, chest X-ray. Signs include, the definite presence of air-filled viscous, or nasal gastric tube above the diaphragm, as well as a diaphragm that is very elevated. CT scan is the imaging modality of choice in the evaluation of severe blunt abdominal trauma. CT scan has a sensitivity of 61 to 71 percent, and a specificity of 87 to 100 percent as an aid in the diagnosis of acute traumatic diaphragmatic rupture. Signs of CT scan includes, diaphragmatic discontinuity, segmental non-recognition of the diaphragm, dangling diaphragmatic sign, dependent viscera sign, intrathoracic herniation of abdominal contents, collar sign, elevated abdominal organs, thickened diaphragm, thoracic fluid abutting intra-abdominal viscera, hypoattenuated hemidiaphragm, and associated fractured ribs. By the CT scan signs of traumatic diaphragmatic rupture, the segmental diaphragmatic defect sign, represents a focal, and abrupt loss of continuity in the diaphragm, the free edge of the disrupted diaphragm demarcates the defect, and it may appear thickened because of muscle retraction, or hemorrhage, the dangling diaphragmatic sign, produced by the free edge of the torn bifragment, which curls inward from its normal course, towards the center of the body, forming a comma-shaped, or curvilinear structure with soft tissue attenuation at any right angle with the chest wall, the absent diaphragma sign, represented by the absence of part, or all of the hemidiaphragm, without demonstration of a tear, in areas where the diaphragm is expected to be well demonstrated. Indirect CT scan signs of traumatic diaphragmatic rupture, the herniation through a defect sign, 
produced by the passage of abdominal organs, or peritoneal fat into the pleural space, or more rarely the pericardial space, the colocyn, corresponds to a waste-like constriction of the herniated structure at the site of that diaphragmatic rupture, the hump, and band signs, both results from herniation of the liver through a right-sided diaphragmatic rupture. Other indirect CT signs of traumatic diaphragmatic rupture includes visceral dependent sign, represents direct contact between the herniated abdominal organs, and the posterior chest wall, without interposition of the lung, the sinus cutoff sign, is a variant of dependent visceral sign that occurs in the presence of blunt diaphragmatic rupture with a pleural effusion, the elevated abdominal organ sign is present by the displacement of abdominal structure cephalad above the level of the hemidiaphragm contralateral to the side of the lesion on supines images. Medical therapy, for traumatic rupture, first provide initial resuscitation according to advanced trauma life support protocol, with particular attention to airway control, prepare the patient for surgery. Sometimes surgical intervention can be briefly delayed until the patient's condition is stabilized, however the high incidence of concomitant injuries necessitates emergency exploration in most cases. Surgical management, all hernias, should be repaired for fear of complications, such as obstruction, strangulation, volvulus, acute traumatic diaphragmatic hernia can be approached through laparotomy, or thoracotomy, however in the presence of injured abdominal organs that warrant resection laparotomy is usually utilized, chronic traumatic diaphragmatic hernia is usually approached through thoracotomy to free anticipated adhesions of herniated organs. Combined thoracoabdominal approach, is less commonly utilized, should adhesions, and combined viscous resection, and, or pulmonary parenchymal repair are needed. Surgical management, the procedure includes, reduction of herniated organs into the abdominal cavity, and repair of the diaphragm utilizing non-absorbable sutures into layers, first line sutures, are reinforced by continuous second row. The use of mesh as reinforcement, or when tissue loss is present and tension is to be avoided can be added on, in repair, minimal invasive surgery, such as video-assisted oricoscopy, or laparoscopy was advocated by some authors particularly in chronic traumatic diaphragmatic hernia.